I'm going to take a selfie. There you go. And we're going to want to print it on a piece of toast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. I know what you're thinking. This is not a 3D printer, but it is actually a food printer. Who knew such things existed? But this here is actually a cool product that literally prints on anything that you can actually put in there. I'm talking about milk, coffee, cookies, cake, macaroons, you name it. Uh, and it's actually a really cool concept. So. This was sent over by Babby Tech, which is currently funding on Kickstarter right now. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be seeing exactly what it's all about, what it comes with, how it works, and what it can do for you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our unit. Now, it came in a crate. It itself is a pretty large unit. I mean, you can tell how it is, uh, but it's designed for commis uh, commercial use as well as home use. So it's kind of up to you on how you want to use it. Now, it does print up to 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So it's actually a pretty fairly large scale. And then it's got these uh, ink that you can go ahead and just refill on your own based on Epson printer. Now, what it comes with is the standalone unit. You get your ink uh, containers, which are these little guys right here. Uh, it does come uh, with extra if you charge for it. You can go ahead and get the inks. So these here are edible inks, which are completely safe. Uh, you can look it up if you really want to. So these are uh, completely safe ink. The whole setup process of it was a little bit difficult. However, they're actually pretty good with coming out with these videos that kind of show you step by step. So you actually go ahead, uh, set it up in the sense of running these lines into these bottles. And then you want to go ahead and flush it using this syringe right here. This will go ahead and get out the ex extra and kind of help pull in the ink into the system. Um, and then it comes with a variety of other things, including extra syringes, uh, extra sensors, and stuff like that, just in case if you do need to repair it. Uh, it comes with this cool looking design concept with this particular uh, tablet on the top. This here's an extra, uh, but you can go ahead and control the whole entire machine using that, which is awesome. Now, it also comes with this particular tray, so it can go ahead and print up to five centimeters and above. However, if you're printing something smaller than that, then you would use this tray here. So this is actually a macaroon tray. So you can go ahead and load up macaroon on here or you can go ahead and put a plate on top of it and print something else that might be thinner like a piece of bread uh, which I believe might just print on there without having to use this surprisingly uh, now you also get this lovely looking tray here for your coffee or whoops <laughs> uh, coffee or your milk so you can go ahead and put the cups on here too um, and yeah that's pretty straightforward so it's got this automatic sensor so you will go ahead and put something in there and we'll know exactly the height so you don't have to adjust anything based off of that comes with this nice little peekaboo display here on the top so you can go ahead and lift open this cap peek inside what's happening you can actually see it being printed in real time now the tablet itself is really easy to use so it does come with software that you can go ahead and install uh, and the software includes this cup show app which is actually really user friendly so you have a variety of different things you have a menu of different items that you can go ahead and print that are pre-defaulted into the system uh, or you can go ahead and hit text and put a custom text uh, based on what you want to write um, and then on the left here will kind of give you a display. So right now it's showing the top of a cup. However, if you go in settings, you can go ahead and change what you're printing on. Now, the awesome part of this is this, uh, l this little QR code here. So what happens with this is if I go ahead and I'll show you this. I went ahead and open up my camera. I can go ahead and scan this QR code, open up the app that is specif specific to my particular printer that's currently online. Uh, just hit choose. And then this will go ahead and pull up this unique looking software. So if I go ahead and click on image here, I can go ahead and upload my Conflicts logo, hit choose, and this will upload it directly into the app. I can go ahead and move it around. I can add a text, I can rotate it, um, different images, different, you know, whatever. Uh, and then I can go ahead and hit submit. Now I just hit submit and I'll name this 04, done. And it just submitted it to the internet into this particular app. Let's go ahead and grab some things to print next and see how this thing works. All right, so we have ourselves some macaroons and some bread. So this here is our Conflicts logo that was uploaded into the actual software. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this guy and it'll kind of pop up right over there. Now, since we're doing macaroons, we're gonna go ahead and click on settings and make sure we click on the macaroons mode, which is uh, not that, that's coffee, that's macaroon. I'm gonna hit okay. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit print. Now, before we print, we can go ahead and pick which one we want it on. So in this case here, we'll pick it just like this. We'll do um, in the middles. 
We'll do two. I should do three. There we go. So we got three different ones. Um, and then let's go ahead and take our tray, which is this guy right over here. Um, and then we're going to add three macaroons in the middle of that tray. So to give you better contrast, we're going to go ahead and choose an orange one. All right, and we're going to go ahead and place this in the middle. Our three here, we can actually see what's happening on the top. So that's pretty cool right over there. I'm going to hit print. <laughs> Look at this. That is so cool. What? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> and then it raises, brings it back down. Just like that, we went ahead and printed our logo on this particular macaroon. Uh, so you can go ahead and customize just about anything when it comes to that. Now you can always print on other things as well. So let's just go ahead and do a quick little test here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a selfie. There you go. And then we're gonna go ahead and upload it into the software next. And we're gonna go ahead and print it on a piece of toast. Go ahead and change our settings uh, into a base for bread. There we go. And we can click on my face. <laughs> so what we're gonna have to do now is uh, put it on the mat because it's less than five. It has to be uh, more than five centimeters for it to go ahead and pick it up. So if it doesn't pick it up, then you'll have to use a tray. So let's try this and see if this makes a difference. There we go. There we go. So it picked it up and I'll be printing our face on there. This is so cool. I've never seen this before and I have no idea how this is gonna look. What? <laughs> That's me. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> um, let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. That is so cool. <laughs> so literally just took a selfie and there I am on a piece of bread. That's my face. That is crazy. So kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with it. So you can go ahead and print on cake. You can print it on cookies. You can even print it on drinks. Now, the way that works is kind of interesting. So uh, as long as you have foam on top of a cup, you can go ahead and print on top of that. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, and it kind of works the same way. It just kind of puts the ink on top of it. Uh, so you can always go ahead and customize things. You can go ahead and write your own custom words. Um, I can go ahead and customize this. If I generate text, I'll go ahead and put con there. And then I can go ahead and even like move it around, uh, change the color, uh, generate text. And I can go ahead and create my own custom picture on here and then uh, kind of cover the whole entire piece. Now you always can go in the settings here. You can go ahead and adjust it so you can go ahead and make it bigger. Um, you can go ahead and increase the quality and just different things on it, which is really cool. So yeah, there you guys have it. So this here is the printer, or the foot printer. Now if you guys had any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.